Father in heaven. He makes the sun rise on Nazareth. He grew up here, didn't he? Who is this guy here? He's Jesus. Prophet? Miracle worker? He's a carpenter. And don't his sisters still live here? Where did he get such wisdom? But, but. Prophets are honored by everyone, except the people of their hometown and their own family. What is it? It's John. He's... he's dead. I need to be alone. to Bethsaida, he says. Quit griping. I think we're getting there. We're getting nowhere. What? It's a ghost. Ghost? What's wrong with you all? Ah! Don't worry, it's me. Don't be afraid. Peter? If it really is you, 
Tell me to come to you on the water. Come. Discoverers at home. <gasps> Don't tell me it's Discoverers at home's birthday next first week. First birthday. Oh my days. It's Discoverers at home's first birthday next week, boys and girls. How exciting. Uh, and I actually can't eat that cake. Oh, sorry. Boys and girls, now it's my turn. Um, Sarah's here a little bit disappointed with, with the cake I gave her. Oh, I'm so sorry. Actually, cares. Speaking of birthdays, I have two birthdays. You have two birthdays. I do. What, like the Queen? You're <gasps> Sarah's the Queen. No, I'm not the Queen. Oh, but then I do what do you have mean? Two birthdays. I have the birthday when I was born and when I was born again. 
born again. What do you mean born again? I mean, when I became a Christian. That means I have two birthdays. Wow, that means I have two birthdays too. It does. Whoa, so boys and girls, if you're a Christian, you also have two birthdays. You have the birthday when you were physically born into the world. Then you have the birthday when Jesus gave you a new life. So this cake's for that too. <laughs> Jesus was in Jerusalem for the Passover feast. One night, a religious man came to see Jesus. The man's name was Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a Pharisee. He studied and taught God's law, and he tried very hard to obey the law. Nicodemus wanted to know more about Jesus. Rabbi, he said, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. No one could do the miracles you do unless God were with him. Nicodemus had that right. Jesus said, I tell you, unless someone is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Now Nicodemus was confused. He thought that keeping all God's laws was how a person got into heaven. Besides, what Jesus said didn't make any sense. How can anyone be born when he is old? Nicodemus asked. Jesus said, a person cannot enter God's kingdom unless he is born of water and the Spirit. Whatever is born of the flesh is flesh, and whatever is born of the Spirit is spirit. When a baby is born, he gets physical life from his parents. Physical life doesn't last forever, but the Spirit gives people a better kind of life, spiritual life, so they can live with God forever. Jesus said, don't be surprised I told you that you must be born again. Nicodemus still didn't understand. How is this possible? He asked. Jesus said, when you don't believe what I say about things I've seen on earth, how will you believe what I say about the things I've seen in heaven? Do you remember how Moses raised up the bronze snake in the wilderness? Everyone who looked at it was healed. Like that, the Son of Man will be raised up so that everyone who believes in him will have eternal life. Then Jesus told Nicodemus about God's great plan. Jesus said, God loved the world in this way. He gave his one and only Son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. God did not send his Son to declare the world guilty but to save the world. Anyone who believes in him is found not guilty, but anyone who does not believe in him is guilty already. Nicodemus needed new life, eternal life, but he could not do anything to earn it. Eternal life is a gift that comes only from God. God showed his love in this way. He sent his one and only son to save the world. Everyone who believes in him will not perish, but will have eternal life. that swim and all the birds that fly were made from your incredible imagination creator god we're singing to the creator god of all the world creator god we celebrate you we celebrate you you spread the ripples through the you painted stripes on every bee And all the grass that grows and all the leaves that fall
talking to the Creator God of all the world. Creator God, we celebrate you. No. <laughs> so basically, when anyone says the floor is lava, you have to get off the ground as soon as possible because the ground is lava. Okay. The floor is lava! <laughs> you made it! Woohoo! Hey Kez. Yeah. The floor is lava! Ah! That's closed! You can't go there!
come at you with another challenge. We've missed our challenges. I have really missed these challenges. Yeah, I've really missed beating Sarah. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you never beat me. Ah, I'm so upset about that now. Anyway, so we've decided we're going to do one of the TikTok dances and you've got to vote to see who is better. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Who is going home? Sit down. Ow! Shh. Miss Knowles? Why did you? Shh. But why? Shh. Just listen. I would like to share a story from the Bible with you. It is a wonderful story because it tells us something of how much God, our Heavenly Father who watches over us, loves us. It is the story of a man who was rescued by God. His name was Saul, and he was on a mission to find Christians. He wanted to make them prisoners. But as he was on his way, something unusual happened. Suddenly, a bright light came upon him, a bright light from heaven, and Saul fell to the ground. Along with the light, Saul heard a voice. It was a voice from heaven that would change his life forever. Saul, Saul. Run, Kaboom, run. Do you know whose voice it was? It was the voice of Jesus. Kaboom. The voice of the light was the voice of Jesus. Jesus! I beg your pardon? No, no, sit down. I know that voice. I know that voice. What is he doing? I know that voice. Quiet. Young man, this is a charge. You must not. It was Jesus. Jesus freed me from my enemies. I was taken captive by our enemy. They were going to kill me. But then... A light appeared! <laughs> Avram! A light came. The ropes that were holding Prince Kabu were loosened. And there was a voice. Run, Kabu, run! I watched him run. Our captors were afraid and ran away, as did I. It was the voice of Jesus, Avram. I know it in my heart. It was the voice of Jesus! Jesus rescued me! He rescued me! Still studying, Kabu? Samuel, remember, I have a new name now to go with my new life. Ah, yes, Samuel Morris. Named after the man who helped me come to Africa as a missionary. I thank God for him every day. If it were not for missionaries, I would not know of my Heavenly Father. I am very blessed. What is it, Samuel? Is it possible to feel happiness and sadness in your heart at the same time? I have learned that my Heavenly Father can do what my earthly father could not. If my people, even our enemies, could know about Christ, it would stop the killing. It would change the way of the jungle. And we pray for that every day. But the tribes, they need to know about God now, Miss Knowles. I understand, Sammy, but there are very few missionaries here. We are doing all we can. But I am not. Teach me more about God, Miss Knowles. If you do, maybe I can be a missionary to my people. Oh, Sammy, Sammy, I've answered all your questions and taught you all I know. Well then, who was your teacher? Stephen Merritt. Then maybe I can ask him to teach me. Where is he? Oh, he's 
in New York. A big city in America. But like I said, Sammy? Sammy, where are you going? To New York. New York? But you don't understand. It's on the other side of the ocean, very far away. I don't see how. My people need Christ, Miss Knowles. How can I be a missionary to my people unless I learn more about God? I am not sure where New York is, but I will get there, Miss Knowles, and I will find Stephen Merritt, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Get on up there and climb that rigging. Get that sail down before we break a map. Secure that line, now. He can't stay there much longer, Captain. He'll be tossed to the deep for sure. Good! Then we'll be rid of him! It was a mistake to bring him on board in the first place! Never even been on a ship! He's always going on about his father this! His father that! Let his father help him now! If he can! <laughs> Mama, help me! Help me! Please! Ah! Girls, thanks so much for joining us on our Discoverer's Takeover. I really hoped that you had lots of fun that you learnt a lot and we hope you to see you again very soon please keep joining us see you next week at discoverers bye everyone bye.